I felt stubborn and like no one was going to take me off those skates. You know, it wasn't until the doctor actually said to me, young lady, you may skate tomorrow, but you won't walk after that. So I didn't have very much of a choice. So I don't know if I ever thought of myself as courageous. I thought of myself as a competitor and I've worked really, really, I'd worked really, really hard to get there. And I didn't want anyone to say I couldn't do it, but I had to be realistic at the same time. I think having never, having, never letting anyone say I couldn't do something, never saying no, uh, always being ready, whether it was a tough year or not, to be able to forge ahead and see through the sort of murky waters to be able to, to be able to get to your goal. Um, you know, a lot of times people say you can't do something. And I always felt, and this was because of my parents being so strong, having good common sense and logic, saying, you know what, you can do anything you want. The only one who will stand in your way is you. And as the years went on, I started realizing this more and more. As a young child, you don't really realize this as much. But as you get older and you get a little bit more mature, you start seeing, wow, you know, I can do anything I want. Sport allowed me to travel all over the world. Sport allowed me to meet children and, and teenagers and young people and adults all over the world. I was able to see places that I never would have gotten to in, in Europe if it wasn't for skating. My parents couldn't have afforded it. I was able to go there because I was competing in those places. And so sport gave me many more things than I mean, the medals are sort of the icing on the cake. The medals aren't the things you go for all the time. It's the camaraderie. It's being with other children. It's being able to speak other languages with other kids. And, you know, at 14, I was in my first Olympics. And, you know, for me to be able to see these people like Nancy Green and, and Jean-Claude Keeley and famous, famous people who were in the Olympic Village along with me, this little girl from North Vancouver <laughs> at 14. You know, those things are possible. And for me, I wanted to be there again. So at 14, that opened my eyes up, all open to a whole new world of what sport was about internationally. And I wanted to be there again. And that's what drove me every year. Oh, definitely. My life without sport, I, I'm sure, would have been quite different. I'm sure I would have um, tried to excel in, in another avenue. That's just my makeup because I'm the type of person that nobody can... I don't want to ever be told I can't do something. If you try to do that, I'm going to go... <laughs> I'm going to fight as hard as I can to make it. And um, sport gave me so many qualities that as a young person, it might be something to do with school. Can you get this project done? Can you do that essay that the teacher's asking you to do? Can you finish that math project or play that piece in piano? All those things are, are building you as a young person and, and so that those are life skills that you will carry with you up until you're an adult. I think that there's nothing that I can't achieve. And that's what sport gave me.